When it is replicated, um, it will sometimes make mistakes. Um, the enzymes in the replication process can make mistakes. Uh, you can also make mistakes, mistakes in the process of transcription and translation. You can have genetic mutations. Uh, lots of different things can actually go wrong. And there are some repair mechanisms involved for fixing those mistakes. But uh, we're going to talk about what happens if those mistakes are not fixed. OK, so uh, we'll start here with a point mutation. I've got a little sequence here of DNA and RNA. I made it very simple so that we could show what would happen. Um, in a point mutation, uh, that means you have one nucleotide is affected. All right, so you don't have a long string of things, just one nucleotide. It only changes one uh, nitrogenous base. Okay. So in a substitution, one base is replaced with a different one. Okay, and that can cause one of three different types of mutations, silent, missense, or nonsense. So let's say this uh, C was changed to a G. That would make this RNA change to a C, um, and the amino acid would be the same, because UCC and UCG code for the same thing. So that then is called a silent mutation, where the mutation does not change the amino acid. Right. So if during some process that C was accidentally changed to a G, then it would get transcribed as a C in the RNA, but it would still be serine in the amino acid. So it's not actually changing anything even though the, the nucleotide was changed or the base was changed. All right, during a missense, one base um, changes the amino acid. Okay, so let's say this A was a C, so it's changed to a C. Okay, then this U would be what? a G, and that serine would be GCG. So this would be alanine instead of leucine. All right, in a nonsense, um, substitution. The base change um, causes the codon to code for a stop codon, where it originally coded for a, an amino acid. So if this um, if this uh, A was substituted with a T, then this U would be a, an A, and UAG 
codes for a stop codon. So then there you have a nonsense mutation. Well, the DNA strand remains the same, but the amino acid chain, so the protein, would then be truncated. It would be smaller. And how does that That could affect, uh, that could have a drastic effect on the protein, on the function of the protein. Okay. So if you were to rate these as far as severity, um, as, as far as what it could cause a, a change in the... Um, amino acid or the protein, the silent mutation doesn't change anything, right? So it's harmless. Uh, missense mutation will only change one amino acid. So it's generally not going to be a big deal. However, it can have dramatic consequences. So for example, uh, sickle cell anemia is just one point mutation which changes an amino acid which changes the whole shape of the hemoglobin. Okay, but generally, it's not going to have that dramatic effect, but it can. Whereas a nonsense mutation, if you have you know, a bunch of your amino acid um, chain missing, then that can have a dramatic effect on the protein as well. Okay, a frame shift mutation then It changes the whole reading frame, okay? So in that, you're going to either have an addition or a deletion. So let's say we put uh, another A in here. Okay, that would cause another U to be in here. And now the whole frame shift of, of the codons has shifted over. Now you have UCU and GUU. So that's going to give you different amino acids than what you originally had. Or if you deleted like a T, all right, that T there, then you would have an ADC and an AC, and then anything downstream to that would be different. So the whole reading frame, the codons that are read, is going to be changed. And those can also have dramatic effects on the protein that is made. What usually causes this sort of thing? So carcinogens, so UV radiation, um, chemicals, just errors in copying. So just every once in a while, an enzyme makes a mistake. Yeah, lots of different things. Drugs, yeah. Don't do drugs. Bottom line. Okay. All right, so those are mutations that can occur to the DNA sequence, which has an effect on the amino acid sequence or the protein being made. Um, we're going to skip over. We'll come back to that one. We're going to skip over now to talk about chromosomal mutations. So the chromosomes themselves and the genes within them can also have, they aren't static either. They can also be shifted around. So there's a few different um, possibilities. I have uh, letters representing different genes here. If you have a deletion, well, that's pretty simple. You're just going to have some of these genes missing. All right? So now I no longer have the C gene because it was for some reason deleted in this chromosome. Okay, sometimes in replication you have a duplication where the same gene or set of genes is repeated. And so, oops, so yeah, here we have AB twice, where in our original chromosome we only had it once. Inversion, 
what you'll have is the gene sequence will be flipped upside down. So here, B, C, and D were flipped upside down. And so now they're oriented in a different direction and they may be read differently and maybe not produce the same proteins that they did before. All right, and then lastly, a translocation. I drew a second chromosome here. Um, and this is where uh, a gene or a piece of a gene breaks off from one chromosome and is inserted in another. So here are the genes B and C, which were on our original A, B, C, D, E, F chromosome, somehow broke off and were inserted into this other chromosome, which originally only had GHI. Okay, so those are the different types of chromosomal mutations.